All right, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video before you ever buy golf grips again. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. So this is really one of those aha moments where I just kind of all of a sudden stumbled into this and thought, how have I never considered this before? And how have I never even seen anything about this before? I went online, I looked all over the place, could not find anything about this. We're talking about grips, but we're talking about specifically one unique part of grips or the grip fitting experience or when you're choosing grips that I think everyone just kind of glosses over and doesn't realize maybe exactly how important it is. Okay, now before we get into the grip part of this video, real quick, I wanna talk about shaft flex because this is all wrapped up together. So what's the first thing that any golfer, pretty much every golfer does when you pick up a club off the rack or off the, out of a bag? You pick it up and you give it a little wiggle, a little waggle, right? We all do it, you know, everyone does it, trying to figure out how stiff the shaft is. It's just something inherent in golf. We just all do it. So obviously, we're trying to get a feel for how much flex that shaft is. Now, when we actually swing the golf club, how do we feel the stiffness? Well, pretty much for most of us, now occasionally you might feel it in the backswing if you've got a really fast backswing, but for most of us, you're gonna feel it in the downswing, either in this initial downswing here, or maybe you'll feel it more down here depending on how much or how long you hold this angle but there's that initial feeling of the shaft loading, right? The initial feel of the shaft flexing or bending. And then at a certain point, it stops, and you feel all that in your, in your thumbs, in your fingers, in your forearms. You feel where the shaft has some give in it, and that at a certain point, it no longer has give in it, where it's flexed as far as it's gonna flex, and now it's moving in the other direction. So that's kind of how we all perceive shaft stiffness. Now, if a shaft is stiffer, when you swing it, you're not going to feel as much of that loading sensation, as much of that give sensation as you start your downswing, as you make your downswing. If it's more flexible, you're going to feel more of that sensation, more of that soft bending uh, feeling. So that's how we all kind of recognize shaft stiffness. And shaft stiffness obviously is one of the main elements when you are figuring out when you're fitting golf clubs, right? finding the right amount of flex, the right feeling flex in those shafts for your particular swing. Now we get to the grip portion of this. Now when it comes to grips, a lot of different options, and there's a lot of choices that you have to make when you're picking out a grip, right? You've got different sizes, standard, mid-size, jumbo. You've got different textures, different sort of patterns on the grip as far as do you like something that's smoother? Do you like something that's maybe rougher because your hands sweat? You've also got choices like, do you like a grip that has more taper to it, or do you like maybe something with less taper to it, like a plus four design? And then you've got the choice of firmness. Now this is always written down in the description of a grip. It's always in there. And it'll have a little chart, it'll have a little sliding thing or something that shows you, oh, this grip is softer, this grip is firmer. And if you go down into the description and you read about it, they'll usually say something like, a firmer grip will transmit more vibration and give you more feedback. That's all they're going to say about it. But here is the whole point of this video. The golf grip, the firmness of the golf grip will influence, can change the flex in the shaft. Let me say that again. The firmness of the golf grip can change the flex in the shaft. Now let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I mean with a few different demonstrations. So I'm gonna break out, and I don't take it out very often, but I'm gonna bring out my frequency meter, which is a tool that a lot of club makers have used. They've kind of fallen out of favor. You don't see them used nearly as much as they used to be. Uh, there are varying views on how valuable frequency matching and things like that are when it comes to building golf clubs. Uh, for me, I almost never use it other than to either if I'm checking the radial consistency of a shaft as far as how it flexes in different orientations to see how consistent it is, or something like this where we're trying to isolate a variable and see what kind of results we get. 
So for this video, for this demonstration, I think this is absolutely perfect in showing what I'm talking about. Okay, so first off, we've got a true temper, elevate, tour, stiff flex shaft in an eight iron. And on it, I've got a pure pro grip. And if you haven't tried the pure grips before, they are very kind of soft and spongy. So we put this in the frequency meter and we take the measurement and we get 304 cycles per minute. That being how many times it passes through the little laser, okay? Now, if we switch that grip out, and I've now switched it to essentially the firmest grip I have sitting around in the shop, which is actually a grip I got off Amazon, but it is very firm feeling by comparison to that pure grip. I put the exact same golf club, haven't changed anything but the grip, back into the frequency meter, and what we get this time is 313 cycles per minute. That's 10 cycles more, basically, per minute, which is, well, here, I'll just show you in another example. Here is a seven iron with a Project X 6.0 with a pure grip on it. We'll take a measurement of this guy and we get 322 cycles per minute. Now, here is the exact same weight seven iron head again, but this time we've got the 6.5, the extra stiff version of that same shaft using the exact same grip we just used. So the only difference is we've gone from the 6.0 to the 6.5. We take the measurement this time and we get 333. So that's 10 cycles again, right there. The same 10 cycles that we're getting between the 6.0 and the 6.5, we see when we switch simply keeping the same shaft and just switching between the pure grip, the softer grip, and the much firmer grip. All right, finally, one more little demonstration just to sum it all up. We've got the 6.0 Project X shaft with the much stiffer grip on it. And in this hand, I've got the 6.5 Project X with the much softer grip. Put them in the exact same seven iron head. Everything else is equal. And we take a frequency measurement of each of these. And guess what? We get the exact same number at 333. So even though we have this, being a stiff and this being an extra stiff, because of these two grips, they are coming out, the frequency is actually measuring out identical at 333. So why does the softer grip make the shaft feel softer and the harder grip or the firmer grip make the shaft feel stiffer? Well, just like when we talked about that initial load of the shaft, that initial bend, we'll call it the initial squishiness of the shaft, we get the exact same thing with the grip. If we have a softer grip, we feel more of the grip bending or squishing, whatever you want to call it. We feel more give in the grip, just like we would in the shaft. So that softer grip is going to have more give. It's going to feel softer. So if I take this shaft, the 6.5 Project X with the softer pure grip, And I compare that to this 6.0 Project X with the much firmer grip. I don't feel a difference between these two. So remember, the firmer the grip is, the firmer the shaft is gonna feel. The softer the grip is, the softer the shaft is gonna feel. This is maybe the most overlooked or never talked about element when it comes to picking out grips and how that actually influences how you feel the golf club because it can have, as we've shown here, just from going between a firm grip and a softer grip, can have a major influence on how you interact with that golf shaft. Hey, if you've got any questions, definitely leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. What kind of grips are you using? Do you prefer a harder grip? Do you prefer a softer grip? And maybe have you switched from one to the other and noticed what we're talking about here in this video. So let me know that. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. And I will see you on the next one.